Welcome to the fifth day of these World Championships. I wish I could say a sunny welcome, but the umbrellas are out and the temperature has dropped to 15 degrees centigrade. It's dropped from 85 degrees Fahrenheit to 55 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's a pity because it's the first event in the decathlon, 10 events spread over two days. And we're seeing heat three of the 100 meters. The athletes are seated. There'll be the best athletes will go into heat four, but uh, that's the Soviet athlete, Deg TRF. Two Soviets in this, 816 is Deg TRF. Nevsky wears 842. It's a good pole, two very good East Germans, and that's who we're watching now. It's the Soviet athlete on the right, and uh, Deg TRF, or Torsten Voss on the left, who's coming into it. The uh, young man who held the junior world record hits the tape first, and it was Deg TRF who was second. And Torsten Voss's time, 10.69, the fastest, 10.7, the fastest of the championship so far. All these athletes racing against points. Now, there's the world record holder from West Germany, Jürgen Hinkson. Uh, the Swiss leans across to Stefan Nicholas to congratulate him and wish him luck. And the big challenge is really uh, not so much between uh, this man, your uh, Uwe Freimut, but Daly Thompson and this man, Siegfried Wentz, who wears 308. Here's Daly Thompson, that's the Russian there, Akhab Kin. But Daly Thompson, the man who uh, has been injured of late, but is the Olympic champion, the Commonwealth champion, and the European champion. He took over the world record from that man, Guido Kratschmer of West Germany. And since then, the very big tall, West German Jürgen Hinkson has taken that record back. So Thompson, recovering from injury, anxious to get it back. Really, he's the fastest sprinter there, and look at him flowing now. Eddie Thompson of Great Britain getting away. Jürgen Hinkson trying to get up. Siegfried Wentz of West Germany. Guido Kratschmer, they're all failed. Stefan Nicholas was, in fact, the second. And that is now the fastest time, 10.62. And that will score Daley Thompson 906 points. There's uh, Voss's score, 882 for 10.69. Dick TRF, and these points on the right-hand side, all from the international scoring tables against which each of these events is judged. There's Thompson's score, 906. He's the top after the first event. Niklaus, 882 for 10.69. And uh, that's the same as Voss of East Germany. Kratschmer, the former world record holder further down in fourth 10.86 getting 839 points now for the long jump Voss now 23 but he is the uh, junior world record holder still holds it Torsten Voss who sprinted well now in the long jump behind the board that means it's a safe jump and he gets a white flag he sails away Remember, these athletes have to conserve and ration their energy over two days. It's such a grueling event that even if they start off as enemies, they finish up as friends. And so it should be. Seven meters and 48 centimeters, 24 feet, six and a half. That's uh, for Voss. And he gets 917 points for that. Now here's the West German, six feet, seven of him. He's actually the German long jump champion. And that's a fine jump. You can see how much nearer the eight meters mark he is on the board. Jürgen Hinkson, who did 10.95 for 100 meters, now does seven meters and 75 centimeters. A big cheer for him as he scores 971 points. And here's the response from Daley Thompson, the fastest man in the 100. And he's a good long jumper, but he is injured and he's worried about this event. Fine. Fine jump from Thompson. And one wonders whether Jürgen Hinkson is watching that. There's the wind gauge in the foreground. It's miserable conditions. It's starting to rain. And Thompson, 7 meters 88. And uh, he scores number one in that, 996 points. Here's Guido Kratschmer, a former world record holder. The West Germans have a very, very high standard in the decathlon, the Zenkampf as it is to them. 
Oh, well, Guido Kratchmer, a little heavier. He's about 15 stones, just over six feet. Charming fellow, I have to say. Guido Kratchmer, way back, I think that looked about 7.20. And there at the end of two events, you can see that Daly Thompson has a lead over Voss of East Germany and the world record holder from West Germany, Jürgen Hinkson, back in third. 1,902 points to 1,799 points, 1,788. The next discipline in the decathlon after the 100 meters and long jump is the shot. Daly Thompson, nowhere near as big as uh, Kratchmer or even uh, the world record holder Jürgen Hinkson. <clears throat> But a competent shot putter. And that's a fine put. Now for Thompson, he's rarely been over 15 meters in actual decathlons, although in training he's been over that. And I think he'll settle for that. That looked about 15 meters 30. And a big smile on his face for the first time. 15 meters 35. A further 809 points, that's over 50 feet in the shot. Now for Torsten Voss. Remember, he was the second fastest man of the 100. His long jump was 7.48. Oh, but he's just over 14 meters rather than just over 15 meters. So he'll drop back a little bit and Daley Thompson will gain more points on him. Check in the scoreboard. 14 meters and 12 centimeters, 736 points. Now, the man who Daley Thompson calls Hollywood Hinkson, because he spends a lot of time in California, and he'd like to have a future in the movie industry. Giant of a man and a magnificent all-round athlete. Oh, and that's long. The longest of the shot putters, I'm sure. And he'll earn a few points back on Daly Thompson with that. Daly Thompson, who's out in front of him, has a look at the scoreboard to see himself in slow motion. And it's the longest put, 15 meters, 66 centimeters, 827 points. Now, Guido Kratchman. Big man, should be good at the shot. Tended to drop his elbow and lob it a little. No, it's not as good as he would have wished. Kratchmer, not over 15 meters. Looking a little unhappy as the rain comes down. Try to keep dry in those little tents. 14 meters and 99 centimeters. That scores him 788 points. And after three events, that's Thompson's lead. 2001 to 1,711. Uh, Hinkson, 2,615. And he's getting away as Thompson big names behind. behind. The final event for the decathletes on day one is a grueling 400 meters. The leader is Daley Thompson after four events, 3,593. Jürgen Hinkson, the reigning world record holder, 3,472. Torsten Voss of East Germany, 3,417. So this is an event that matters greatly. Akharpin of the Soviet Union on the inside. Vents of West Germany in lane two. And then we've got the very tall West German, Hinkson and Thompson drawn outside. Now, Thompson has a great reputation for 400 meter running, but one wonders whether his injuries have delayed his training, but he set off at a tremendous rate, and all eyes are on Daley Thompson now. The tall West German chasing him hard. Siggy Vents, Siegfried Vents, and Jürgen Hinkson trying to close up the gap. Kratchmer is outside Thompson, but Thompson determined to get the greatest authority and the greatest advantage from this first day by amassing the biggest total of points that he can. He knows that he's got a grim day tomorrow because the tall West German is better at both of the throws. So he comes off the bend the better, but I think the Germans are closing, and Siggy Wentz is closing, and so is the uh, Swiss Necklace. And that means that Thompson's in trouble, and in fact, they're gonna cross the line together, and that is extraordinary because Daley Thompson would have expected to have run much faster, 
than the 48.08 that he's run there. Clearly, he's been lacking training. He didn't like the weather conditions, but he still finishes ahead with 4,486 points at the end of day one from Jürgen Hinkson, who's made up some of the gap. Welcome to this sixth day where we look at the decathlon's first discipline of the second day, the high hurdles. There's the lineup. Nevsky, Degtiare for the Soviet Union, Ludwig, and we're looking at one of the favorites, Torsten Voss of the German Democratic Republic, who is a good high hurdler. Only four of these athletes have made it through, and Voss is looking the better, and with him is taking his fellow countryman, Stefan Grumpt. The two East Germans getting away from Alexander Nevsky of the Soviet Union, the pole coming up in fourth, and they cross the line almost together, 14.47. And that will collect 905 points on those international scoring tables. The second heat, Siegfried Wentz, Kratchman is there, Hinkson is there, Daly Thompson is there, Freimuth is there, and Stefan Niklaus, Daly Thompson. Putting himself to a severe test because he's injured his leg but he's up to the first hurdle first. Kratchmer is going well, and the one's fallen over, but Thompson going on, taking Hinkson with him on the far side. Siegfried Wentz. Wentz gets away just by half a yard. Kratchmer is second, maybe. A photograph for the line, but they were all together, and that's the most important thing as far as the leader, Daley Thompson, is concerned. Not much between those points. Wentz, 9.47. Kratchmer, 9.28. Hinkson, 9.20. One point down. Thompson, 919. And after the sixth discipline, Daly Thompson's lead still a, a wide one, 5,405 points. He's leading from 5,286 to Jürgen Hinks. Still a miserable day as the tall West German, six feet, six and a half, goes into the discus circle. This one of his better disciplines. Being tall, long-armed, he should be a good discus thrower. A little bit tentative, and you can see that he's bypassed that 40-meter mark by about uh, four meters, perhaps a little less. Large West German contingent in the crowd. Daley Thompson warming up in the background. 43 meters and 30 centimeters for Hinkson. And that's going to score him 749 points. This is his fellow countryman, Siggy or Siegfried Wentz, who pushed him so hard when he set that world record. And that's a fine throw. Wentz throwing well. One and two in the German championships when Jürgen Hinkson broke that world record. Bravo, 44 meters and 98 centimeters, 781 points. Daley Thompson, whose very best ever in a competition of this caliber is 45 meters and 48, would settle for a discus throw of anywhere near that, anything over 42 or so metres, and that's good enough for Thompson, who knows he must give a little ground to the West Germans, perhaps in the throwing events where they are bigger, heavier and stronger, but in fact, he looks delighted. This British athlete, who is the reigning Olympic champion, European champion and Commonwealth champion, rubs his hands, 44 metres and 46 centimetres, 771 points, and he stays ahead of both the West Germans. Stefan Niklaus now from Switzerland, good sprinter, and he's a long discus thrower. He too, long arm. Oh, that's a good throw. Niklaus much nearer the 50 meter mark. Clearly delighted. Thrilled with that. The seventh discipline, not too tired, despite the fact it's been a hard competition. 48 metres and 74 centimetres, 
he carries on 849 points and that moves him into third place. 6176 for Thompson. Hinkson 6035. Vince 5962. And Nicholas equal third. 5962. Three events to go. The decathlon pole vault. Always a long drawn out affair. Vince there clear at 420, then 440, then 460. And he's had two failures at 470. This is his third and final attempt at that height. Oh, and he's clear. Now, ah, Vince, 470. That's a massive score of 981 points. But his biggest rivals are still in the competition. Hinkson is still in. Thompson is still in. And Freimut is also still in, the East German. He too sails over clear, carries that same score. Pushes his own personal total on and on. Four meters 80, 1,005 points. Daly Thompson. Good pole vaulter at his best. Sways back and sails over with inches to spare. What a competitor. It's <laughs> his celebration, a back somersault. Large British contingent here to cheer on their champion. He's won every major championship that's come his way. Five metres over five metres, and that's a big score. 1,052. Jürgen Hinkson's third and final attempt to match Thompson at this height. Don't think he's going to do it. And again, he has to give a little more ground and lose a little... A few more points to Thompson, the Britisher, who's clearly in very good form indeed. Thompson has now put the bar at 5 metres 10. He's had one failure at this height. If he could clear it, he would get a massive 1,075 points. Oh, and he looks clear. That's his highest score in a major decathlon at pole vault. And away he goes again. Pushes his score to 7,251. And the gap between him... And the Germans is growing. 7,063 Hinkson, Freimut of East Germany, 6,950. Wentz of West Germany, 6,943. And that's a big margin that Thompson has now. I'll be back.